Alright, so one of the other basic things that you really want to watch for when you're taking care of these guys is their poop. And basically you can have them litter box trained if they're in their hutch, depending on what it is. A lot of people have raised hutches with wire bottoms. That's okay, and that way you just want to look underneath it to make sure that you have um, good pellets coming out. So their feces should be pretty dry, and it comes out in little pellets. So they should be making pellets every single day. And so if you see a day where they have not made any pellets, you really want to notice that and then watch the next day and see. And if they go two days without having any feces, you need to get them into the veterinarian to check. The other side of that is diarrhea. And when they have diarrhea, it's generally not liquid with these guys. It's generally a soft, very sticky mess. Sometimes you'll see it stuck to the fur on their backside. And that can also be a sign of some issues going on. So they can have an infection inside their intestines called enteritis. They can have a blockage going on, that bezoar that we talked about, where they can get basically the hairball or the plant matter ball in their stomach. And then just some of the liquids can get passed, and so they have very liquidy feces that comes out. Um, or it can be you know, signs of other problems going on on the inside. And so diarrhea in the rabbit is something that does need to be checked. If they have it one day and they're back to normal pellets the next day, you're probably okay, but you want to watch and make sure that you're keeping a real close eye over the next few days. If they have it more than one day in a row, that's a reason to go see your veterinarian. So one of the things with their pellets is that it's actually normal for bunnies to eat their poop. The fancy term is coprophagia, and it is something they do in the wild. It's thought to be a mechanism where they can actually get some of that bacteria back into their GI tract, as well as essentially get some of the nutrients that may have been missed the first time around. They're already partially digested, and so they go right back down the tract and can do that. And so if you see this in your bunny, it's pretty gross, but it's not the end of the world, and it is a normal thing. It's not necessarily a medical condition that needs to be addressed. So if they're litter box trained and you're cleaning the litter box every day, you don't need to be sticking some out as, as part of their food. So you can definitely clean their box and let them, let them go on. It's a completely normal thing.